guys, I've become a chicken, I think. I think, I think, I think, I think. I think, I think, I think. Maybe a rooster. Am I a rooster? Who knows? But we will determine that later. Because right now, you are in the place of God Metamath 06. Ah, that is my name, because I am your host. Welcome, everyone, to... My Vanilla Let's Play series quest for the Goading Creeper. A very fancy intro, if I do say so myself. <laughs> yes, in the last episode, you may wonder, how do you get a chicken head for those that are new? Well, I have used a custom loot tables by Exumavoid and his team on the Hermitcraft server to get custom mob heads. There is will be an annotation at the end of this video to that video the last video and there will be a link in the description down below to the previous video as such but right now before we begin this episode by the title we are going to be making some an ice maker and that ice maker is how do i call uh we're going to be generating ice uh i'm switching episode plans around actually so because i need to work on something else to get it done so we're moving this episode up a little bit but right now I'm gonna travel to the nether not travel back to our place where we got all our heads oh I didn't show you guys that oh no I already put it away I'll show it back when I get back I'm gonna go collect all the dr mob drops so all the chicken and all the pig and all the meat all that kind of stuff and bring it back here cuz some of its raw and I need to smelt it so I'm gonna go do that really quickly and then we're gonna talk about something else that we're gonna do in this episode man we got a we got a lot of chicken we killed a lot of chickens I thought we killed at least a bit more of the other other mobs but we killed mostly chickens surprisingly uh, and then let's put that mix it up a bit and just get all of this in here we're doing this because oh no don't want that in there need some more smelting uh i'll be turning that on in a little bit uh is that full yeah um, we can take the leather because we can move it upstairs actually and we'll do that in a little bit we'll move the food upstairs but i'll do that off camera i'm gonna really quickly show you oh uh, we have eight chicken heads from all those chickens at the end of last episode my gosh i slaughtered a ton and i got a ton of heads this is actually right after I got a couple more squid heads and three pig heads. It took the first time, didn't get any heads. The second time, got some heads. So that's kind of sucks. But right now, we're actually going to be doing something kind of cool. Ooh, we need to kill one of every hostile monster. We almost have that one. So I wonder what those two we need. Uh, we're not going to do that one. Not going to do that one. We're actually going to do some advancements. Uh, going to do one advancement at the beginning of every episode. That's my plan. Uh, we actually can do that dragon egg one. I just gotta go upstairs. Yeah, there's the dragon egg and Oh, that we did one advancement. Hooray! <laughs> Lol. Uh, let's go back. That was easy. Uh, that one we'll do another time, but is there anything else? We do need to do the zombie doctor one. That's a little bit more difficult. Uh, breed all the animals. If I almost breed and bred a lot of the animals, that one's gonna be difficult. Anyone's in the nether we can do. Uh, rescue a gas. No, we've done pretty much all of these, so it's pretty difficult, the uh, couple of other ones. But I think what we're gonna do, we can do these three right now, but I think, yeah, we're gonna do that at the end of the episode. Or, no, we'll do it right now. Let's go kill an Ender Dragon. Oh, there we 
we go. Got those two advancements out of the way. Gonna show something really quick. With the custom mob head loot tables, there is something else. It drops an ender, it drops a dragon egg, because on the Hermitcraft server they didn't want to dupe them, so they thought this was more legitimate. And it drops an elytra. I'm going to be storing this elytra in a chest, because I want to get a full double chest of legit elytras first, before getting a getting the actual elytra head, al along with the dragon head. I'm going to get a full stack of dragon heads before I use the cheaty one so let's actually get back here and I'm gonna do this stuff and we'll sh catch you guys back here later in a little bit I just died because of an enderman and lost all my levels I had a hundred from villager trading and this is actually pissing me off right now dang it that moment when you forget a bed. It's a very, very dire moment. Come here, squid. I want to kill you. Give me your head. So, we are here in my... I don't know if I've shown this off camera. Yeah, I have. I have. I have for sure. Have I did it in an episode. This is the ice spikes biome I have here to get... Ooh, some strays. Strays don't drop heads in the custom loot tables right now. But hopefully they will eventually. But, anyways... But spiders do. Give me your head. But anyways, so this is where we're going to put our... Uh, I can't break that because they won't give me it. Uh, this is where we're going to put the ice maker. It's going to be an AFKable one, I will think we should do. It's going to be a little bit tricky, I would think. But I'm going to need to scout out the area from above. And ooh, that's a timer going off, signifying... That it is something is ready for me to cook up and eat. So this is the ice spikes biome, and I think right around here, yeah, like right here in this little strip, just a little bit above the ground, we can make ourselves our ice farm. So I'm gonna really quickly lay out the like how big it's gonna be with some building blocks, and then. Uh, I'm going to show how big it is, and I'll find a design, and we'll use that design. Design and build it from there, so. Let me just do some things. Ooh, so it's the next day. Uh, I took some time to figure out how the size of this thing will be, and this is about the size. Pretty big. This is how big the farm's going to be. Uh... Uh, there's no really good designs I could find out there with a tutorial, so I'm kind of kind of make my own, but kind of going to base it off of a another kind of design that I've seen. Uh, I've talked about Il Mango before, and I've used several of his designs, the slime farm, the tree farm, and think the trucker box packing units, and, and the witch farm. I forgot to say that, the witch farm. And what we're gonna be doing is basing it off of uh he showed it in a video he is on a server called Psycroft. it's a very technical server and they have a nice farm there so and he showed it off in a video so i'm gonna be basing kind of my farm off of that one it's very similar but it's a little bit different and we're gonna go show you that in a minute in a, uh, the test world i did it in it's not going to be exactly the same. There's not going to be too much redstone. There's probably going to be a lot less redstone. And I have the added benefit of the fact that mending is a thing in 1.12. 1. 1. And that farm he on the Psycraft server was originally built in 1.8. So I won't have to do too much redstone because I won't need be needing a need for getting a pick, uh, replacement pick because of mending. And I'll explain how we're going to do that in a bit. So let's actually head on over to that little test world to show you how this all works. One. Okay, so here is the design. We're in my really old test world. Not the one I usually use right now, but a really old one. Because it is in a winter biome and water freezes. So this is the design I'm going with. We have some ice all water sources all along this way. 
and this is I'll leave a link to the video of the Psycraft episode Il Mango posted. It's one of like it's the very the third episode. And here's the ice. We have some water. These slabs are where the water sources are. I might put some also down there just to s help speed it up. Uh, so the water sources will break. Go in. And you go along here. You get pushed pretty much. Right here. If you're right up against the wall, you can get every piece of ice. And the stairs makes it so that it's a lot easier to get the ice and the water doesn't flow out. That was El Mango's design. I need to take a better look because I don't know if the wa I should do the water streams like this. Uh, it kind of slows down when you get to this point. You would normally stop, be but because I put ice there, it pushes you along a little bit using fence gates. And it, the design on the Sidecraft, though, the Sidecraft server, there was no fence gates down here. It was just some blocks and minecarts picking up all the items. Uh, hopper minecarts, not minecarts, picking up all the items. I decided not to do that. I wanted to make it less as little redstone as possible to help on lag. So we're going to be using a lot of fence gates all on top of the ice because blocks can fall through. We go down here. We put some ice. We'll be putting some ice down here with some water spread out every so often so we don't have to worry about too much water causing lag. And it pushes it all in here where there's fence gates as well. And there's more ice right here. That goes all the way down and collects the items for us. So that's pretty much what it's going to be like. And then we're going to turn a corner. Probably go around this way, go around this way. And then right at the back it's going to start. This whole thing is going to span the entire length of what I built. Uh, ice takes a very long time to freeze and mass. So th making it as big as I did... We'll get a lot of ice, and it will be pretty much big enough so that when you come back around, you'll be able to start again. Now, how are we going to get this to work with the mending pickaxes is we're going to, once it gets down to a certain point, probably once you're done going through all of it, your pickaxe is going to need repairing. So we're going to be using enchanted bottles of enchanting. I tested it with barely any durability about a hundred durability left and it takes a hundred and balls of enchanting to f repair it and that's probably not ex too exact because balls of enchanting i think switch uh xp switches out depending on what the xp switches depending on how much there is i think i'm not quite sure anyways the xp i think is between a certain number but that is how we're pretty much going to do it and you're just going to set up a redstone clock and it's going to dispense uh bottles of enchanting we're also going to have to get a cleric so we're going to have to bring some villagers over and we're going to have to be able to trade with the villagers so that's another thing we have to also work about work around but anyways uh we're going to do some time lapse time lapses now of the build and it's going to be cool it's going to be a nice little time lapse uh, and I hope you will enjoy it. So the whole thing is pretty much going to be built in a time-lapse with the replay mod. So, anyways, let's get into that time-lapse right now. <laughs>
hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. I actually finally got the replay mod to work, so I'm kind of happy. And I did the editing. It took a little while because the replay mod for 1.12 is in beta. The replay mod for 1.12 is in beta. That got my world scrambled. And I got it to work. I had a, several crashes trying to just edit it. But we got it done. We got it done. Uh, this is how we're going to do this little area. So this is where the ice is going to be. Uh, the stone bricks are where we're going to put the fence gates, and right here is where the water is going to be, and there's going to be a back part right here. We have a pattern over here, but I'll talk about that in a second. What I was planning on doing, I thought about it, I wanted to actually, because this is a water, we could have one waterway that extends all the way out here, and it would take up probably less space, I would think. I'm actually not sure. I think it will actually take up the same amount of space, but the only problem is when you're moving and you're doing something AFK, you don't turn your mouse so your character can't move. I am not sure if there is a way to actually figure out how to do that. I did some tests not too long ago um, with a minecart and activator rails, but that doesn't seem to work. But I don't think we'll do that. If I could find out a way, I might, but I'm very unsure if we're going to try and do something like that. But... Anyways, so besides the point, we got a little pattern going right here, little, little ice lits, regular ice, and then packed ice in between. I think it looks pretty nice. And, and then, uh, what is that? Snow? Snow on the top. I'm talking a little bit fast. And we're going to be doing that all the way around the, the farm. We can't really put a roof. I could probably do something a little bit interesting. We can. I think we can put glass. I need to do actually some testing to see how... Uh, which blocks allow water to freeze, but I don't think you can really do much of anything because I think mostly water freezes 100% of the time. Uh, does it freeze 100% of the time when there's a block above it? So I don't know about that, and I don't know about transparent blocks, if that actually affects it. I think it does because slab do, slabs do, so that's the real only real issue we have here. But that's okay for now, so... I'm going to start finishing this up. We're going to do another replay mod. Uh, time lapse of me finishing this build. We're also going to do all the walls as well. And that's going to probably end off the episode. Well, not really. We're probably going to do an AFK session to see how much ice we get. And then that will end off the episode as well. So, let's get into the final time lapse of today's episode.
Whoa! Okay, guys. It has been too long since I've been recording. I have spent too long on this project. It is a massive project, and it's almost done, but it's not quite. So, everything is built. Uh, I have a little area to reset me. I get over there, and I come back. So, the system I was using to deliver us back to... The system that I was using to get around the farm, move back and forth, it is not working as I intended. So, let me just explain. I have a hard time getting into this actual farm, so we're just going to do this in spectator mode. So, I built... I, first off, I forgot uh, to build this on that side, this little timer thing. So now I built it on that side, but we still have some work to do. What is that? Oh, that is a stray. That is a weird sounding mob. So... Turns out this system is not working. It was working perfectly, but now it's not for some reason. So I have to redo a timer. So the importance to this farm is that you need to be as like right up against the wall to be able to reach four blocks back. So one, two, three, four. You can only do that if you're pushed up right against. So what's supposed to happen is this is supposed to push me all the way into this wall. And then, once I'm all the way into the wall, after a certain amount of time, this dispenser it, this dispenser turns off, and then it turns back on, and this piston goes back up. So there is some redstone in this design. I'm sorry about that. Couldn't do it completely without redstone. But it's not that hard of redstone. And all it does is, once you get over here, you're pressed up against the wall, and you should just go pushed on along, and you should be able to break the blocks. So that's not entirely working so, we're going to fix that uh, by figuring out a timer. Uh, I've also done a system right here that uh, it's not constantly on. So, you can get set up right over here. And then, you walk over here, click that pressure plate, and the system gets activated by uh, activating this torch. And you ha can't, when you run over it, it doesn't deactivate it, it just keeps on activating it because it's based on a dropper system. And then I'll have a shut off switch. So there's still some work to do. There is still some work to do. So I'm going to go do some hopper, probably, hopper clocks. that uh, Simple hopper clocks that will make this a little bit easier. Also, we did some tests. We've got a lot of ice pretty quickly, so it's really good. I still have to put in the mending system. Uh, we'll probably go through one run of this and hopefully not break a pickaxe. I'll get a... I have a pickaxe that we'll be using for this. There is enough blocks in this farm to actually break your pickaxe, so it's going to be pretty insane. And it will probably fill up all these chests in one run. So I'm going to be fixing up the timers, and then we're going to actually do the time lapse of... The final time lapse of the episode, because I didn't do one before this clip of me finishing off the build. And that final time lapse is going to be me uh, working, uh, going to the farm, and collecting all the items. And that's where we're going to end it off. So, let's just fix this stupid timing system.
talk about before ending the episode off. It has been like three weeks since I started building this thing. And it has been a long enough of a time since we built this thing. And very, very painful. Very, very painful. Ooh. Hmm. Seems like over here these didn't get broken. Or no, it's the... Something happened over here. Hmm. Something froze. We'll have to take a look at that a little while later. But we have a couple things to talk about really quick. Uh, the farm works great. Uh, I just realized there was, might have been something broken with some fence gates and redstone redstone and fence gates closing. So I don't care. I already did a couple tests. I got a lot of ice. I've had a lot of ridiculous trouble with this. Uh, I actually died once. That kind of sucked. But I've had a really hard time getting this to actually all work properly. So that's pretty okay and I'm happy. Uh, I do know we need to input a repair system right over uh, at the start of this area right here. Reason being I tested it in that test. That's why it stopped right here and didn't finish the entire farm. The pickaxe would break so we have to get... 100 enchanting bo bottles of enchanting right over there before we actually start. Uh, I don't know if it would last a full round again because th that would mean we would have to station it uh, at one everything. So I, I have no idea how we're actually going to physically do this. Uh, what we'll probably do is put one right here and right over here to repair the pickaxe fully before we do it again, but that's all I really have to say on that. Uh, the ice seems to have some kind of freezing problem. I did switch around where uh, when you finish it, that's when it repairs itself, so I don't know why that on some of it, it wasn't doing that, but we'll have to figure that out another time. But that is all I really have time for today, and that's gonna just end off the episode. I'm going to fix some of this, especially this, because I don't know why this broke. I'm going to end the episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, i just been breaking it with a... turning it into water. That's fine. That's fine. That actually makes this a little bit easier. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will then see you guys next time.